Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning June 28, 2021. So as we get into this week's message, it's nice. It's a nice thing, depending on where you are on your soul's path. We had last week that whole message for one of the dailies uh, where it was like the South Node and the North Node, where you've been, where you're heading. And this can be a very uncomfortable process for some. Now, others may take this time to get really, really fearful, yes, and double down on the old way. I'm hearing that this will have very severe repercussions. This will have very, so, and that, I don't love that as a human being because I think a lot of us sort of get scared and double down and go back to our old habits. This could be a time where people are going back to old addictions, um, and maybe your body can't handle the addiction anymore. And that can apply to more than the more obvious addictions. Okay, your mind, your body, your heart, your soul can't do this anymore. But you don't know who you are without your vices, right? So there's some of that going on for some people. And yet others are, I'm hearing face the music. People are having to face the music. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that people you know, have law enforcement breaking down their door and dragging them out in cuffs. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what your life is like, but <laughs> maybe it's not that. This is more of an internal thing. This is more of a, man, I was so fearful of coming through in a different way or to lay down my insecurities or to work on my wounding or work on my trauma. I was always so afraid of that. And I just kept in survival mode. And now some people are feeling the effects of that. So be very careful. If this is you, okay, be very careful with making sure that you have proper support around you, not being in denial, um, not scurrying back to old ways. Okay, that's kind of how we're starting off here. For others, this is a very, very, very bright time where you are becoming free energetically from those who are not good to you. This isn't so that it's to me against them. It's a genuine understanding of your heart light, your soul light, however you want to see that. You know that that's the priority. And so you are coming forward and letting more of that come on out and you're living more from that space. So that's what we talk about, about living simplistically. It's not like you can't live in a big, beautiful house. I have to really reiterate that some people are on a soul's path where they are supposed to be experiencing what it is to handle and manage all that comes with that. We do not judge that. But it becomes toxic and detrimental when we go after those things so that we are taken seriously. If we can show our status, then no one will mess with us. Or if I am next to someone who is powerful, then they will protect me and no one will mess with me. Well, what's the real problem here? You're in a low frequency and you're afraid. You're not in your power, right? And so this is this upliftment. This is this, it depends on who you are and what your experiences are and all experiences are valid, (laughs) right? Everyone's in process, right? But this is, for many of you watching this video, this is uh, a time of reckoning. It is a time of realization. Um, and in some cases, I mean, <sighs> yes, there will be punishment for some. I, di- I didn't want to go down that road, but yes. Um, but it feels like punish. It's like self-punishment. It's like a broken heart and saying, okay, well, you know, I, I went down this road. I made my choices kind of thing. And yet others, as I was saying, you know, trying to lift up and saying, okay, I can be free of this now free from soul contracts. For example, if, um, if you're supposed to come in and have an experience and you are holding up your soul's contract and you're doing your thing, you're doing your growth, but it doesn't work out with, you know, whatever else you were supposed to be working with and you end up having to take another option, the universe is ever correcting and helping us, you know, our, our timeline is not straight predestined. No, it's not predestined. It's, this just has to be like this and that's all there is to it. it. It's fluctuating, it's energy, it's flowing. So 
if you have a situation that didn't work out here, that was maybe supposed to work out, or maybe it wasn't anyway, there's always another route to take for you to continue your growth. Does that make sense? So you don't have to get hung up on, well, I'm gonna keep trying at this career goal, for example, bringing it into the practical here. Uh, I'm gonna keep going after this career goal because I just, I just have to do it. Why? Are you passionate about it? Do you love it? Or are you afraid people are gonna see you as a failure if you let that go or a quitter? Yeah, everyone hates a quitter, right? I don't feel like that's who I am anymore because you're growing, right? And so the right thing for you is to reevaluate what you want for your life, but you feel like because of everyone else's expectations, you have to stay on this road. And for some, it's killing them. They know that they're getting hung up on their contract. And this is another dangerous pitfall for us to be aware of. I get myself stuck on my soul's contract, me, very human way of processing this and expressing it or whatever, but <laughs> I'm right here and I can't move on, I can't move on, I'm overanalyzing it because my intellect is the strongest thing I believe I have. I'm not gonna, not gonna ignite my heart because the last time I did that, I got punished for that. I got shut down. I was told not to be such a crybaby. I was told to not be so weak. If you wanna make it in this world, there's that, that conditioning. If you're gonna make it in this world, you have to act like this. I'm gonna shut all that down. So we get ourselves stuck and we don't realize that it's not that straight line, like I was just saying, but rather twists and turns and flow, <laughs> right? Flow. So for whatever deep soul lessons are coming up for people, this could be very eye-opening. And, and I mean that like eye-opening on a personal level, there could be some eye-opening things happening out in the world. We're getting, we're putting the pieces together a little bit, but more it's eye-opening to feel the heart lighting up. And I have to share this with you. <laughs> I am a child of the eighties. Okay, I totally pictured ET. Okay, I did, yes. So <laughs> heart lighting up uh, and realizing that I've been saying this for a long time that maybe we've been operating at half capacity. We're not fully ignited in our understanding of what we're even doing here. So that's why it's kind of hard, just as an example, when I'm doing personal readings for people and they want to know their purpose, it's like the number one question. And I could give it to them, but they're not gonna listen. Why? We get entrained. We get brainwashed and we can't get far until we start to make a choice to, to step away from unethical practices, Machiavellian efforts. We have to make a choice to lay down the brainwashing and heal from that and ignite our intelligence, our emotional intelligence, along with the intellect. Do not be afraid to be vulnerable. That doesn't mean you gotta be sloppy, okay? <laughs> I wouldn't get on like the subway in New York City and start crying on someone's shoulder. They're gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? You ever see video of people that, like a New Yorker usually will just kind of like jerk their <laughs> shoulder. They won't do anything really. They just kind of sit there like, okay, wait for them to figure it out here. So <laughs> that's a different kind of thing. But this is a beautiful time of understanding, realizing, and then having the option to make a different choice that's laid before you. How do you wanna continue on from this point? Now I want, just for me personally, I want us all to get along. <laughs> I want everyone to stop seeing friendliness and kindness as something to be suspicious of. That you're hiding something that you're duplicitous. I want people to feel like they can be kind and respectful and not have to have power struggles at a Chipotle <laughs> or <laughs> like whatever, you know, or at a Starbucks or whatever. Can we lay it down? Can we lay it down? And they're saying we can, we can, do, we can start doing that. And I'm actually feeling like this is so simplistic, but we don't allow ourselves to enjoy connection. 
We don't allow ourselves, because we've been taught that it's dangerous. Um, don't give in to your enemy. You know what I mean? It's going to be a deep week. It's going to be different for everybody. <sighs> and you're just going to have to see what comes up for you. Now, you do have your angelic team around you. You do have your spirit guides around you. A great time to be meditating. But this, this has to come with pure honesty. Because if we delude ourselves, we remain stuck in that one spot thinking we can't move forward. And then what? Oh, I can't believe my life. Oh, why did these people do this to me? Oh, I'm such a victim. Low, 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 powerless. And we can't have it, okay? All hands on deck. Stop being lazy. <laughs> just kidding. I always like making that joke. I don't think it's very funny, but... There's no feedback in this room, so whatever. I just entertain myself, I suppose. But, <laughs> but give yourself this chance to look at the way forward and what that really means for you. What do you really want? How many times have people said, I want love, I want love, I want love, and they go off with the biggest jerk who's just using them? No. You're just so mean to him. Like, I mean, okay. But, but like, you know, we, we have to be more discerning or, you know, where do we blame everybody else in our lives for our choices? Where are we not looking at our own shortcomings and then saying it's because society is like this. It's because we don't get that. It's, it's all these pieces and all of this sort of playing out. So let's bring it into practicality a little bit more by pulling some cards. Okay, so let's see what we have going on for this week. A lot of realizing toxic ties. So this might be a time where some are realizing that they've been toxic or that karma <laughs> has really come for them or not that, uh, I'm sorry, I should not put it in that way because that's like putting this narrative out there that karma is always bad and it's for punishment. Um, but, you know, I'm talking more of where we get blocked. That's really the whole message here is where do we block ourselves from happiness, from true love, thinking that you have to own a person and control them so that you can feel safe in love, right? So that's a dynamic that people need to look at. Um, when really it's all insecurity, but it's going to start being reflected even more how we get into our own way, right? Okay, there's, there's the first card and I almost dropped the deck. Okay, you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. What's the date? I, we're, in, we're in Cancer season. Hey, Cancers, what's up? I have a Cancer moon. <laughs> I said moon. I don't know why I do the things I do, okay? You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. So this is a fresh start. Again, this realization and taking a different approach. The reason why I'm pausing, I'm feeling a lot of stuff right now. Uh, this is, it's good. It's a cleansing. It's a cleansing. It's a release. It is preparing for a different path. Now, again, these readings can get a little difficult because I always feel like people are pulling for the surface level. I hear people, you know, talking about other kinds of card readings and saying, I love this. It's so specific. No, it's so 3D. Now, that's bad. Not that that's bad, but you need a little mix here, okay? <laughs> you need a little mix. Don't just wait for someone to tell you what to do, okay, is what I'm getting at. All right, so you and your loved ones are safe. So there's something where people are making decisions, and maybe part of that block is because they, because cancer is very protective of family, home, um, my people, my friends, you know, all of that. And because I'm hearing pompous too. So there could be some like, like, I'm too worried about my status when it comes to my family. So there's a, there's a dark side to that as well. 
Yeah, you, you and your loved ones are safe. So some of you out there, you might have been like keeping up with the Joneses or you're so worried about your reputation or whatever, right? Like, and you're putting pressure on, let's say your kids to make sure they go to a certain school to look a certain way. That's sort of the dark side of that. On, on the other side of it, it's, I don't know how to move forward because people are depending on me or um, I don't know that I can stop the kind of work that I do. Cause I've always been trying to figure out, I'm like, you know, is this still the best way to serve? Is it, like, I love doing videos. So, so far that, but are personal readings the best way to serve? I've been saying that for years. I'm still doing them, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's still in play, whatever. But it's that kind of thing where we get stuck in what we think we should do in order to keep people safe. Let's get, let's get more info on that because that, I get that. I mean, that's understandable. A new romantic single begins new moon in Libra. I'm feeling messy. Okay. And I don't want to go there. Um, I'm feeling messy. So yeah. Okay. So some people are leaving wives and husbands and, uh, maybe you've delayed this because you, you wanted your loved ones to be okay or to make sure that the home is safe, you know, the whole cancer energy of not having this broken home. Again, that's not like it, like it won't happen, right? But I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little confused, but I'm getting scrambled by this. Your new loved ones are safe, a new romantic cycle begins. It's okay to let go. It's okay to let go. It's okay to start fresh. But please understand whatever, because what this feels like, it's just like a lot of stress trying to figure out your current circumstances, okay? Some of you are trying to figure out, where do I live? Do I want to live in the city anymore? Do I want to do this job anymore? Do I want to be under the control of these people anymore? Mm, I got married at a young age. Not that that's bad. Everyone's path is different. But I got married at a young age and I'm just not the same person that I was back then. That's why you see a lot of divorces happening in people when they're in the 40s and they got married young. You got married young and you're like 20 years old watching this does not mean that will happen to you please remember you are a very different generation okay so all good but this does feel like um people being afraid to take a different route because what will happen to the people i'm a part of my my people okay what will happen and then love is playing into this somehow but listen if you're one of the people watching this and you are, you know, you're just one of the trackers and you're very, very manipulative. Sorry, everybody else. I probably shouldn't be addressing these people. Shoot, I dropped the cards. I had to get that. Okay, so anyway, um, if you're very Machiavellian, if you're very manipulative, um, you're out of power. You're out of time. It won't work anymore. It never has. To your detriment. To your detriment. Now, here's the thing. We don't all have to be these like maniacal, manipulative people, but we are very protective, aren't we? We might say, <laughs> I'm picturing like a parent who's like, my kid's the coolest kid ever. Didn't do anything to your kid. Oh yeah. And the parent, the other parent feels just as strongly <laughs> like, okay, listen. So <laughs> this is that kind of thing of like, okay, take, take a minute, take a beat, take a breath, take accountability and then change your ways. How do we change our ways? Spiritual practice needs to be the priority. It's where you begin. It's the most important part. And then along with that would be if you do need, if you have something psychological that you're dealing with, being very discerning about who you speak to. Okay. And even psychologists, they don't know everything. Okay. So be very discerning about that and working on yourself, being empowered not having to make decisions based on others' expectations or definition of you. You hear me say that all the time. Okay. <laughs> I feel like this came up a long time ago. Is it Twisted Sister? We're not going to take it. <laughs> Go look that video up hilarious but I feel like for a lot of people watching this we're not gonna take it anymore okay let me sit with this because I feel like like there's some painful moments here people are trying to recover okay 
Don't go splashing around in water being afraid that it's gonna overtake you when you realize it's only about three inches deep. And all you have to do is stand up and stop struggling, <laughs> okay? <laughs> it's that kind of thing. So it doesn't diminish, I'm not trying to diminish anybody's pain, but this is um, taking, understanding what love is, understanding why you've made the choices that you have, taking accountability, um, and then trying a new way. We're not gonna take it and um, giving our hearts a break. That's another song. What's with me with the songs today? All right, <laughs> so let me see what else we got here. This is a varied, varied message. All right, we got this though. Let's go. Can I just wait. Thank you. Finally, she's going to be here all day. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. You guys, what was the first one? That was a new moon? Yeah, so we had this new moon in Cancer and the full moon in Cancer. So an emotional situation is coming to culmination. Uh, it's being processed. You're coming through, walking away from something, and it's going to be all right. You and your loved ones are safe. And this says a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. And I think that the full moon is like, it has to come from self-discovery, right? So this is not going to work for anybody out there who's like, no, I know what I know and that's all there is. And then you go to turn around with all your attitude and you run into a brick wall and you're like, ow, I'm such a victim, that hurt. <laughs> okay, listen, the brick wall was the size of life and you walked right into it. There's only so much we can do for you, okay? <laughs> You're on your own. But this is uh, definitely being willing to come to peace with something, finding harmony for freedom. For freedom. Watch people who have energy tentacles out there and they're just trying to like entangle you in their stupid web. Whoa, okay. <laughs> if you're one of those people, back off. Why do I keep dropping the cards? I'm such... I got you. Expect powerful change. I'm flying out of the deck. Okay. <laughs> okay. I record these ahead of time. I'm still recording this. Well, just after Mercury retrograde. So can I still use it as an excuse? Is it a, no? No, because it's done. All right, whatever. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. Again, this idea of something is ending. It's done. It's over. You're free. You can let it go. And when you let it go, your energy just completely turns on. That's what I'm here because something was draining, 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 and then you are free of it. Your energy switches, the lights come on, and it's like, oh, yes. <laughs> I know exactly how to move forward. Now, if you're somebody who's not comfortable with change, this might be, I had to fix myself. I realized I was all crooked in my chair, um, <laughs> and it's a noisy chair on top of it. So some people might be very uncomfortable with this idea of change, and they might be resisting it, but Truly, let whatever does not serve you be eclipsed out. And it doesn't even have to be a situation or a dream or a perspective that's still in play. It could have been something from the past that you're, it's just kind of like in your subconscious and it keeps popping through and expressing through you and you're still being a puppet to it. You're still being controlled by it. Find your light, find your light, okay? And that's gonna help you come through. All right, so let me get the color cards. I don't have my regular reading table in front of me, so bear with me, ah! Bear with me one second. Here we go. Does this week go to July 2nd? If it does, very happy birthday to my nephew, Cody. Honey, I love you so much. Hope you have a beautiful day. <laughs> okay, color card, let's go. People are waiting. There it is, thank you. Oh, we get two. Gets a bonus day, <laughs> or week, I should say. So we have Amber, Awaken Your Creativity. The number is 15. We're gonna talk about this. Indigo, improve your vision, the number is 40. So we have your 
third eye, your intuition, we have your sacral chakra. This is a fire, a sacral chakra fire that's out of control. And it's the same place that it's, it's like our, it's sexuality, it's creativity, it's life force, it's the emotional body, it's attached to money and, you know, because creation, you're manifesting. And this, like I said, it feels like a fire out of control. So this could be someone who is, I don't want to say too much in this video, but really trying to overcompensate for what they've experienced in the past. And then improve your vision, this intuition, you're getting strong intuitive hits on truth, I'm, I'm saying like a spiritual truth, a uh, truth about maybe pain, where you get held up, how this gets blocked. Oh, sorry, it was the lamp <laughs> on that. How this gets blocked. This could be childhood wounding that needs to be healed. And um, I'm here, release the life force, release the life force. And this is how you do it. And it's not a quick fix. It's not an overnight thing. It's just, this is needed to understand what to do with this, whatever this pain is. So that's what we're going through right now. This is uh, the second chakra. The sacral chakra is um, one of the most common chakras that needs to be healed for people, right? Because again, there's been a, a, a lot of manipulation around children and what I would call their life force and wanting to take their innocence to charge. You know what I'm talking about. And so a lot of us have fallen to that and you know, to that kind of uh, overtaking, right? Of that aspect of us. Again, I'm tiptoeing around what I say here, but this is some realization around how this fire has been burning and it's just out of control and how it may have pushed something, you know, something out of your life. Uh, maybe you have been self-sabotaging or maybe you didn't go after everything that you wanted because you just didn't believe in yourself or you didn't believe that you were worthy or um, you expected, you had your expectations. Let's just full stop. You had your expectations. It didn't go the way you wanted. And that's because it, I'm getting this image of that, you know, like the person that's struggling for help and they're just pulling on anybody and pulling them down with them. And yet again, there's this feeling here of you learn to stand up. You learn how to walk out of that yourself. And there's this vowing to do better, vowing to do better. And it starts with you. It starts with you being better to you. And then from there, you won't feel the need to uh, hang on, um, to put your expectations on something. It's all out of fear. It's the, the sacral chakra. It needs to be healed. So a lot of people need to hear that right now. And I think... I think that's enough for a weekly. <laughs> so we're going to leave it there. If you're getting value out of this content, if you would subscribe and like the video, I would very much appreciate it. And of course, if you would like a personal reading with me, including, you know, angelic readings and Akashic readings, go to my website at angelsouls444.com. If you choose an Akashic or you want an Akashic records reading, just put that in your submission form and choose whatever reading time length that you want. I'll see it in your submission form and I'll know to get you an Akashic Records reading and those do not come with cards. I mean, unless you request it, then we can absolutely add those in. It's no problem. And also, if you want to join the seven-day meditation challenges that I have over at Gumroad, one is with Metatron, one is with Archangel Michael. That is gumroad.com slash angelsouls. Have a beautiful week. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.